Uh, <laughs> I already tried filming this thing like five times. I have cancer. So the basic plot of Before I Go is it focuses on this college sophomore named Wyatt. Uh, he just came home from college, he's about to become a college sophomore, and he realizes during a visit to the doctors that he has cancer. He has liver cancer specifically. And this film is done in the found footage format and it chronicles the three month period, the first three months that he has liver cancer and how it affects everything from his relationships, whether they be friendships or with his girlfriend or with his siblings, and then how it affects him, himself, with all the things that he wants to do but can't do because of what he has. It's pretty much how Andrew and I first conceived before I go was that uh, Andrew confronted me about making a movie, or drama rather, surrounding uh, someone who got cancer. And at first when Andrew told me that he wanted to do a film about that, I just thought, oh no, not another cancer story, because like we have The Fulton Our Stars, and just so many other films that surround that kind of idea, and I just thought, Andrew, if you're going to do this, you're going to have to do something that can really make this idea stand out on its own. And that's when we can see the idea of a found footage uh, format story uh, of a guy who, uh, pretty much following his diagnosis of cancer, pretty much vlogs his life. I think one thing that people will definitely find interesting and, and something that will convince them to see this project is how relatable it is. We definitely tried from day one to try to make this film as grounded in reality and relatability as possible. We wanted to make sure that every single thing that happens in this film, something that actually could happen, everything from the conversations that these people have, the things they talk about, to the things that happen to them all. They're all very grounded in reality, and we wanted to make sure that it's not just something that happened in the script, but something that, that carried itself to the screen, to sets, whenever we shot a particular scene that day. We want to make it all as real as possible. The reason why we chose to do the found footage format for this project in particular was because we've seen it done for horror films and for action films, but never for real authentic human drama. So what this format allows is for the audience to connect more with the characters and with the story and with what's going on in general. So that way it allows you to really become more uh, connected and more uh, into the lives of these characters. And especially with a story like this, you know, this story happens to so many people across this country and all over the world. And so to see this kind of story told in this format, I think, in my opinion, it's something that I've never seen before. Working with the cast on this project in particular was a lot of fun because with the script it acted more as a guide than a concrete thing that had to be followed by everyone involved. And so it, it definitely granted a lot of freedom to everyone involved whenever we were shooting a scene. And it happened quite often that if they had some last minute strike of inspiration and they asked us, you know, do you, do you think we could add this in last minute? And we said, go ahead. To me, I hope that audiences take away from this film the idea that we've been advertising in our trailers and in a lot of our promotional material, which is to live life. Life will provide you plenty of sadness and, and hard times, but we also live here for the enchantment. We live here for uh, those moments in life where just everything seems to be perfect and happy, and that's ultimately what we strive to live for. It's what makes life worth it. Through the course of this project, there were many times in my life this past year where it's been very difficult and it's been very challenging. And so this project could not have come at a better time in my life for me to realize that there are people who have far worse than I do, and yet they still manage to see the positive side of everything. They still manage to see the happy side of, of everything in life, to, man to manage to find the silver lining of everything. And so if they can still manage to do so, why can't I? Why can't I manage to do that? And so that's what we hope to pass along to audiences, to just live life, get past the downs in life, because there'll be still be plenty of ups to look forward to that'll make life 
worth living and to live life.